going to stop eating this donut. No, no, no. I said I don't eat this donut. That's fine. I'm quite comfortable with this. Hello, everyone. Welcome. What what brand is it? It's just Costco Zone. Like, just a Costco donut. They make them fresh. They Very make nice. them fresh? Yeah, they make them tasty. They Do they really? Them themselves. Yeah, man. Costco. Yeah. Make Costco. them fresh in a factory 10 miles away. Not well, maybe, but like they made that day, like with all their other cake shit that's there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just say what I believe. <laughs> it, the looks, truth. it looks like it, it looks fresh. Cake. It looks like, and they make cakes and shit on site because you can see the bakery in the back of it. You can fucking it's for show, it. Kieran. It's for show. Costco. It's just a Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking Tasmania doesn't even know what a Costco is. No, I know what a Costco is, but we don't yeah. have one. You don't have one. No, exactly. No, we've, seen, a Costco. we've seen enough American stuff to know what a Costco is. Mm. Do you have a Costco in Brisbane? Have you been to a Costco? No, I haven't been to a Costco, but I know we've got one or two around here somewhere. Costco is good shit. I got like a fuck ton of AA batteries, like 20 bucks. It was pretty good. What are you going to do with those? Well, how many ba- batteries is the fuck ton? Yeah. Why'd you buy them? <laughs> I think because recently I was looking, I was struggling looking for... I'm like, I need to change my batteries once. I need yeah. to get a fuck ton of these. And then it was like 20 bucks for a fuck ton. I was like, that's a good deal. It's always great to have them just like <laughs> i got to be honest, you're my perfect customer. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was like a fuck ton of like Duracell batteries. I'm like, it's a good brand. It's 20 bucks. Fuck it. Let's go, you know? Like, yeah. No, I am very much the person that's like, do you, I batteries have like, have you know, used by date? I think um, so. I think they do. Yeah. <laughs> I think they do, but yeah. you know, whoever checks that. Twenty dollars. It's, it's <laughs> worth the risk. Worth the risk. <laughs> it's like if I'm choosing between, it, I'm very much a, if I'm choosing between two items, and there is like, you know, it's like say for instance, choosing between the standard edition and the deluxe edition of a video game. <laughs> if it's like ten bucks difference, I'm just gonna get the fucking deluxe edition. Like, I'm not going to, you know, if it's uh, sometimes. What, it's what's the percentage? If it's 50% more? God, that it's insane. Um, no, no, like if it's like, I say 20 bucks, like 20 bucks. If it's within 20 bucks, I'll be like, yes, I'll just upgrade. Doesn't if matter what that, it comes with. Uh, well, yes, it also matters what it comes with. Like it's no, it's just three stickers. That's all extra twenty bucks. Well, <laughs> no, because uh, that's that's you're talking as if I buy physical media, and you don't get twelve you don't get, digital stickers. Three oh, more digital skins. stickers. <laughs> depends. It depends what comes with it. If you get like the season pass and stuff with the game, I think it's like even though I don't think you know what, I would be almost very certain that for any games I've ever got the season pass for with the deluxe You've edition never i've DLC. never played any of the extra nope. dlc content i could i could almost be pretty fucking certain i feel like i would bet on that <laughs> yeah. i feel like i could be pretty certain on that for myself actually um, in fact i would go further to say that i would like to know the percentage of games that you pay for the deluxe edition that comes with a season pass that you've even finished the main <laughs> game <laughs> <laughs> let alone uh, got to the fucking dlc <laughs> dlc is just the extra stuff you know it's just it's nice supporting the devs exactly exactly a hundred percent tipping 100%. them devs just like everybody says <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just being supportive of the games I like. Yeah, fair enough. What else yeah. you do? What else you buy? What was, what was Not as much as I wanted to. I wanted to spend way more today. I bought some clothes and stuff, but then, mm. you know, Somewhere. Costco. Um, no, <laughs> it is. Um, wait. From- so, as someone who hasn't been to an Australian Costco, how close is it to the American ones? Oh, is there like much literally exactly. everything? Literally everything. Do literally they sell everything. like hot food? Yeah, like literally. So, so I bought two uh, two slices of pizza and mm. a unlimited refill of Pepsi drinks or whatever from that company. Seven dollars, and it was and like the slices of pizza is like the big like New York style of slice of pizza. Like it's fucking massive. Like they have a paper plate and you put but the it's, slice. It's, on. It, it's thin as fuck. No. Really? Uh, no, no, it's a chunky. It's not exactly New York, like it's not that thin, but it's like you have a paper plate. The slice is the size of the entire paper plate. Um, 
Like, it's good. It's real good value. Like, the drinks for the soft drink, it's like 99 cents for the cup. And then you just can refill it as much as you want. And, like, it's, you know, they, they've very much, it's very much well documented for Costco that because you pay for a membership to go there and the amount of stuff people generally buy when they go there, their food is cheap as shit because they're like, we could take a loss on the food just to get people in the door. Mm. People will shop more if they can eat in here. Yep. Probably, sleeping bag, they can sleep in here. They'll keep buying. <laughs> I mean, some people would, I would, I could almost guarantee there would be some people have Costco memberships just to go get lunch. Mm. Like, just to go get food. Like, they don't even, most of the time when they go there, they don't even go to grab, like, shopping or groceries How or whatever. Like 100 bucks a year? Uh, something like that. I think it's like 80. You can share it with your family, though. I don't Wait, know. So this, just, Costco's, this Costco's in Melbourne, right? Uh, in Epping, yeah. So how how far away did you drive to get to this Costco? Uh, hour and a half. Okay, I guess that's something. Yeah, it's hour and a half. Like it's very common. Like uh, so, it's my parents' membership. I don't have a membership myself. I just need to. I can. Either yeah, but you, you can use it. I think. Yeah, I can just use their membership. Use their, yeah. Um, and they generally do like one ever like one every one or two months. They'll just go and they'll get a bunch of stuff that they can buy in like decent amount like bulk like you know like sh- like uh, washing powders and sugar um, and sh- like yeah like good stuff and like just have a look around and grab bits and pieces and it's all for stupid prices that just you know um you definitely Horrible. walk around uh, don't know about that one <laughs> <laughs> why chloroform <laughs> what? i was i was interested to know where Where's, that one where was that thought train from I don't um, know, just think, like, I wonder if anyone... Yeah, anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I just got some clothes and stuff. As a larger individual in life, um, you get to a certain size range where you have to, sh- wherever you shop, and it's, it's one thing I actually detest, and it's like part of, Maybe it even is a tactic to try and help people lose weight, but anywhere you shop has to have, like, the word big or large or, like, you know, like, so the store at DFO that I go to that I really like is called Johnny Big. Where it's like normal clothes, but for a larger person, you know, it's just they do good sizing. Do they do that? But oh, now I've got questions. So yep. you go to Johnny Big, right? Mm-hmm. Do they in Johnny Big? Is it then like small, large, medium in their sizes, or is it just? I think no, it just. I, I think it's just up. It just starts at like large, extra large, and, and goes then larger. Goes up. Yeah, and goes right. Up. Okay. Yeah. Um, which I do think is it's interesting and, and frustrating. And I guess it's one of the things like even and it sounds ridiculous, like one of my personal goals of like losing weight and actually looking after myself is just to even get down to like a two XL because then you can shop everywhere. Like as as a person who's above that mark, if you're not mm. within the the two XL mark, if you're above there, you it's limited as fuck where you can go and shop just for clothes and stuff a lot of shops i just don't like a lot of men's shops i just don't even bother looking in because i know they're gonna end at 2xl and that's it I've, and i, I don't mean, know the shops where the largest i've had is like a large and i've tried on a large and gone this is a fucking yeah yeah i think you just went to a kid's store <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm and, in the wrong section yeah which is interesting considering I guess you know uh, the, the population of the world is just getting bigger just to the state of things at the moment and it's well I mean that um, that kind of justifies stores dedicated to bigger people yeah you know? it does but then also again it would also just but it shouldn't even have to justify that it should just be more places you'd hope would start just Making more accountable stuff, like more. Um... The part that shocks me is so you know how Coachella's on at the moment, right? Yeah, well, I guess. All these celebs, yeah. they're all wearing these fucking shirts that I'm pretty sure are three XXLs, right? Justin Bieber and shit. I'm like, mm-hmm. he's just got a white shirt on that looks like it, like it's a fucking dress, and then people can't find. I'm like, where do these celebs get these like massively oversized? Because Maybe it hasn't it come is, to Australia yet. Maybe for the them, A, come. it's probably Australia. I think it is very much Australia. Like, if you ever buy anything from over... Like, if you ever buy anything from America, American sizing is so much... Is naturally so much larger than anything we do. Even, like, I think I could fit into a three... A two or three XL in an American fit. Because it's... That's just normal for them, you know? Mm. Um... It is. It is very interesting. I guess Australia is a, a culture, and in general, Australia is always behind in the world. And there's a lot of weird things that you're like, like um, 
self-service checkouts at Coles and stuff. We had those in England when I left England in 2007. Like they were fully like normal and actuated. And then we come here and they just didn't exist here. And then it wasn't until yet. And it wasn't until probably in the last, what, five years, five to 10 years where it's fully become a thing where it's basically everywhere. Um, yeah, which asks, but no, I got some clothes. I mean, we, nice we, just, we just try to keep people's, people's jobs longer. That's fair, but also, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, the thing is, right, you say wage. that, but you say that, but then how many times do you go into a Coles and half of the checkouts don't have people staffed at? No, they don't have any fucking. So it's like you may as well fucking just rip those checkouts out and just put in self-service ones there and then still keep the same amount of people you have on checkouts just with the added ability of self-checkout. I don't know. I'm pretty sure most of Coles and stuff just open them between like what, like three and six when people like uh, adults picking up their kids come through to do like their math shopping and they open up like one aisle to do it and then otherwise it's nothing but self-serve the rest of the day. Yeah. Which it isn't the answer, and like even Coles is now all places are getting like not just the the smaller self serves, but they're getting the self serve with the conveyor belts and everything now, so you can do larger shops. Wow, like I haven't um, seen that. Uh, yeah, we've had those in chat for a little while now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Self serve isn't the answer. We all know my feelings about brick and mortar stores, especially when it comes to video games. But um, it's uh, yeah, that, that the answer is massive warehouses like Costco. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, no, I actually wanted to spend a bunch more money because um, last week I finished up at my previous job and I started my new job. Yay! And, woo! And uh, I got paid out all my new leave. And then you're like, I got money to burn. I got money. <laughs> uh, I got so much money to burn. Nothing's <laughs> going wrong. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you have those moments where I'm like, okay, I wanted to buy like lots of, and it was a lot of adult stuff. Like I wanted to buy plants. I wanted to buy new bedding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to like. Did you want to buy a new tire or? Um, look, I didn't want to buy a new tire. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, guys? I didn't want to have to buy two new tires. Ooh. Uh, but this is the life I live in right now. Um, where. Wait, did you do two at the same time or? No. So, so. Okay. Let me tell you the story you're of trying to PB how, yourself. <laughs> how karma fucking hates me with a fucking passion. Because I hate karma as a cat. Karma, probably. <laughs> For people listening, no, and it heard me talking shit. Kieran's, Kieran's talking about a new tire. This is not a, a rerun. This is not a rerun. <laughs> this is not a rerun. Um, so part of the thing is with my new job, I drive like a fuck ton less. I like I the the actual math is I'm going to do thirteen thousand less kilometers a year. Just with the the change in commute. Buy a scooter. Um, buy a scooter, <laughs> sure. Fuck, no. Um, change in commutes. And on my last day in my last job, I was talking to people there, and I was like, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm also going to save so much money on fucking tires because I shouldn't be driving anywhere that has a fucking pothole or anything, and my tires are going to have less wear on them. It's going to be sick. I'm going to save money there as well. You walk out and slash your tire. <laughs> and I walk out, no, we're good. Um, it gets to Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I go to go wash my car and be nice to my car, and then I like drive for a bit, and it's like, dunk, 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 dunk. I'm like, oh no. I look at it. I'm like, that's kind of. It doesn't feel totally deflated. But that's kind of fucked. Um, and then mum and dad's is like literally two minutes down the road, so I limp it to there, and dad comes out and he goes, "Yeah, it's flat day," eh? and I was like, "Oh, okay." So I fucking. Check it with him. Um, it's holding like fucking air. It's holding air fine. It's just going down really slowly. We could fill it. It would hold it. It would just. So we're like, all right, let's just rip off the fucking tire. Rip off the tire. We cannot. Dad and me cannot find. Not even where, capable, Karen. Got me incapable. I hey, I'm more capable. I've I change. <laughs> I actually, I'm a pro at changing tires now. I'm great. I hope so. <laughs> I've done it like seven <laughs> times in the most the last fucking eighteen months. So. Um, we rip it off and then, um, we're like, yeah, that's, we can't find where, where there is a nail or where there's a potential hole or anything, but it's like torn down on one side of the trim. So we're like, of the, um, tread. So we're like, fuck. All right. 
this is you know what this is this is where you, this is where it further tells um how fucked my life has been with car tires because i've called the the local tire store and i said hey it's kieran marching here blah blah blah, blah. i've uh been there a couple of times recently i need to change my tire <laughs> And the guy on the phone goes, oh, Kieran, the one with reels off the exact make and model of my car. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And he goes, yeah, no worries, we'll get you another one. And so, yeah, the, the tire shop knows me that well. They know my car because of how shit my life has been. Whatever, get to the place. Um, uh, they order in a new tire, get that replaced. I go in to get it, and then... The guy goes, "What?" The, just about to hand me my keys to say, hey, yeah, we've replaced the tire. It's all good. The manager who knows me, the person I'd spoke to on the phone, comes out. He goes, wait, can you guys just have a look at the other three tires? Because I had a look at that tire earlier, like the broken one. And that looks like that's just either two things. Either you are hooning it and going really hard in your car, which I was like, no, I'm not. And he's like, yeah, I didn't think so. Or you have a problem with your wheel alignment. And if that's the case, you're probably going the same way with one or more of the tires as well. And they looked and there was signs of the another one of the tires going the same way. And he's like, look, you could leave here, but it's probably going to the same thing's going to happen. And that's going to also cause problems with your other tires. And it's just going to be a mess. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I've got the extra money at the minute. Just fucking replace the other tire. Do the wheel alignment. You know, there's that voice in the back of your head where you're very cynical. You're like, am I just getting fucked here for more money? As, have, as you know, Dylan said to me earlier, you're the first customer. I'd love you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's this time, like, I hope, and I not to think, though, I'd like to see the best in this and, uh, and hope they're just yeah. being uh, all right about it. But, uh, yeah. So that was it's fine. Just think of the goodwill that you're doing. You're like, you're putting that guy's kids through college. Yeah, and, I am. You know, <laughs> yeah. Fit your family. <laughs> Yeah, no, that is... Uh, Are they giving me secondhand wheels every time? Or? Oh, God, no, I hope not. not. Are you getting top-of-the-line <laughs> tires, maybe? Maybe well, you need better, so, better no. quality tires. No, yeah. so my thing is, part of the warranty on my car states what tire I need on the car for the warranty to be valid. Okay, so there's no um, there's one specific... There's like specific... one specific tire that you're supposed to get. I'm at the point in my car's life now where I probably shouldn't just disregard the warranty a bit. So probably my next set of tires, I probably won't be going with the same brand. Um, But just in tires alone, I've spent three grand in the last 18 months. Um, And that's not with me also adding two rims to that, which I think the two rims were like $800 a pop, which we could just make it about five grand total. Plus the wheel alignment. Plus the wheel alignment, that's another eighty dollars, which I think I've had two a wheel okay, alignments that's right. in that time. Uh, the wheel alignment's cheap. Well, not cheap, but cheap at fucking. Well, they throw it in because they're getting all these tires. Fuck me. Yeah, no, but it's just shit. With that's the thing. Did not spend as much. Did not get as many new clothes as I wanted to today. But oh well. Um, it happens. But that's my life. That's why I wasn't on the show last week because literally my whole revelation of my tire being flat happened about an hour before fucking we were supposed to record last week. Um, so that's yeah, that's good fun. Um, so what do you actually you want know? to buy? Like just more clothes? Or just like <laughs> no, 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 I just want to do like just wanted clothes. to have that money there as an option. <laughs> or, or a part of it would be like I'm just gonna put like use part of that as savings and put that into savings. Mm-hmm. Another part of it, I was like, I want to buy like some plants for my rooms, some new beddings. You know what? I've had like I'm I'm I would like maybe succumb a little bit to. Uh, Facebook advertisements because I'd seen like the bedding that has like the loop handles from the lad collection. Oh yeah, those was, look like, good. Looks real nice bedding, and I was like, oh, I could just, you know what, fuck it, I could just grab that and stuff. Um, these are all things that fell apart, and uh, yeah, that's what it is. It now, is what have you done? Uh, n- now I've just bought clothes <laughs> and put some aside for savings oh. and life. Um, but yeah, no, other than that, it's good. You know, you got to balance the good with the bad. I'm very happy with my new job this week, so um, you take it. How and I've never you? been devil or anything about it, so yeah. Did you do a full week yet, or did you do like a half week? Like no, 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 I did a full week. I started Monday. Oh, okay, I started on Monday. Yeah, no, no, no. I started Monday. So you're it in the honeymoon is. phase. Everyone says I'm very much a. I'm in the honeymoon. <laughs> no, I'm in the honeymoon phase, but like, um, there's definitely, I definitely have some like work related trauma to my last job. Um, 
coming from an organization that expected overtime. Overtime was just expected to the point where when I uh, when I first started there and I was just doing my allotted hours, it was actually questioned to my manager, um, like, why isn't he doing extra hours? Why is he going home on time? Um, and just a general mentality around the organization that that now I look back to do or like no like so they would they would as a as a job as an organization if you had two people and one did ten, did the same amount of work but one did it in six hours and they were really good at it and one did it in ten hours and they were really shit at it the business would prefer the person that did it for ten hours. Because the person that did it in six hours, they'd go, well, we need to find you more work to do because we need to fill up the eight hours we have allotted for you to get the most out of what we're paying you. A bit weird. It's, yeah, it's very good. And even to the point where, um, so at my new job, my, it was real quiet on the second day, the real quiet in the afternoon, and we'd got everything done. The person training me and me got everything done. And my boss went, all right, you two can go home. See you later. And it was like a good 45 minutes an hour early. And I literally turned around to him and was like, are, are you sure? Like, is, is that okay? And he's like, yeah, man. Like, we're going to, he's like, you're probably going to have to stay back some days because something's gone wrong and you will need to fix it. So just take it when you can get it, you know, take it when you can get it. And that, and that is, it, it's very much, a, I'm very happy. And I don't care about overtime personally or working late. Um, you because. Yeah, I'm on salary, so I don't yeah. get paid overtime. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind working late or doing a little bit extra. It's just a company needs to give back. If when it's not when it's give and take, I'm totally fine with it. When it's just take, 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 that's real shit, and that's burnt out, and it puts people in a bad or bad situation. And I would very much recommend to people just everywhere not to let yourself continue to be in that situation. Um, and even if it feels shit, because you feel like you're leaving other people behind and it's going to make their life harder. People that you're liking your friends with at some point, you've just got to do what's best for yourself and to look out for yourself and take care of yourself. Um, because that is what's important at the end of the day. Um, that's good advice. Yeah. So not ask me how many hours of overtime. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Right. Like, and it's just, it's just part of it. Um, but it just comes to it or, or you know, um, it, it, it rubbed me the wrong way that, like, I was asking for a, a payment review, a pay, a pay review and a job title review mm. for 18 months, for the last 18 months. And it took me telling them that I was looking for jobs elsewhere. And then it happened within the space of a week. That's always the way. Um, like, it's just a lot of practices like that. It's just, it just... You, you, you like uh, at the end of the day. I think there's a lot of people in a lot of situations that you deserve better than what is going on, and and you can find better. Something in your life, Ash? Nothing cool. Me neither. Cool. All right, let's. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I haven't destroyed anything of sub- <sighs> substance. What I found out today on Car Talk. Um, for car talk actually is I yep. found out today my car um, my dad was like trying to get me to really back it up uh, like he's like no keep going keep going keep going he's like you can get close you can get close like, I was reversing I'm like it won't let me he's like no I'm not. it won't but it actually like once it gets to the stage where it's like you're like too you're close, gonna hit it it like, just really stops really close and it's like makes it like the the high like beep, like it's the security alarm like the uh, alarms going off I'm like it literally won't let me he's like no no it will I'm like it won't and I get as close it won't and it just stops it will not. It goes, you're about to hear something and stops. That, that, that is, I get it, is a safety feature. You can turn it off. But okay, like, as long you, as you can you turn it off. You have to press off. like two buttons or something. Like uh, yeah, something. okay. But I'm like, just generally like break off reversing. Like it'll be like. Nah, yeah. bruv, you can't go any yeah. further. <laughs> no, I get that. I'm <laughs> trying to think yeah. what situations you're like, no, I should be allowed to hit stuff. It's like, no, it's not even allowed to hit stuff, but like car chase um, sequences would be so boring. No, no, no. But say, say if you have like a like, like you have to park your car in a really tight parking spot or yeah, so you have to override or something. It then. Yeah, yeah, you have to be able to override it to be able to fit into those situations. Just don't park there. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't park there, he says. 
if it's that tight that it's hitting the sensors. Like, I'm sure there was, like, a still not that much room, right? Oh, there was, Between- like, maybe a foot? Yeah. You should at least have a foot every direction in your car. No. No, no, no. No, you. but the thing is, right, what if... I usually wouldn't he- back it up that much solely because I, I leave enough space to get into my boot because I usually, like, put my yes, bag and stuff right? in my right, that's understandable. Like- I have also been in cars that are longer than some parking spots hmm. and you need to go as far back as possible to make sure that the nose of your car is, it, is like, a safe hmm. distance hanging out of the parking spot. Hmm. Ashley's got the most judge special judgmental <laughs> fucking look. Just like, just get a shorter car. car. <laughs> just, get a, just get a shorter car. <laughs> oh, Mr. Solution your car's, over here. Your car's too long for a parking spot. You've got cars too long. You know? Just chop a bit off. Chop a bit off. Um, I'd like to apologize to any uh, potential tradies or people that own dual cab utes that have had to do it for their, you know, just for their to have shorter, you know, shorter ute uh, space. You either have a smaller cab or smaller, smaller Shop. tray. Shop it off. All you people with like seven kids that have a massive car yeah. for your seven kids. Have less kids. Get a have minivan. Chop a, chop a kid off. That is a minivan. But then they can't get a minivan. Uh, yeah, the minivan, because then the motor's underneath the, in a different part of the car. So it's, you know, you're, the front, everything's moved forward. You know? Plus, there's more room for passions is at the back. Uh, uh. Cool. Anyway, uh, let's, record Arca- let's record Arca Castle. <laughs>